Andrew Perloff here for SI.com. I'm with Aaron Nagler. And we're talking about the Chicago Bears. There's some turmoil. They fell to 3-4 and four today, lost to the Dolphins. Apparently, Brandon Marshall says this is unacceptable. They are not a 3-4 and four team. What do you think? I'm going with Bill Parcells here. You are what your record says you are. I mean, 0-3 at home. That's the glaring thing for these Bears, especially early in the year. You saw two big-time victories on the road. One of them was against the Jets, so maybe there's a little false hope there. But the win in San Francisco had everyone's hopes up in Chicago. Look, to me, it all comes down to Mel Tucker and the defense. And I know people are going to point to the 14 points scored against Miami. Miami's defense is no joke. They are legit. Cameron Wake gives everybody trouble, did against the Bears as well. But the defense, Mel Tucker was handed a bunch of parts to use this season after the atrocious defense he put out there in 2013. It hasn't gotten better. They made Ryan Tannehill look like an all-star. I mean, that's a problem in Chicago. Why aren't you going the obvious route and blaming Jay Cutler? Just like Brandon Marshall <laughs> like reportedly Brandon Marshall did, like to, yes. about everybody did. I mean, the mistakes are still there. You saw them today. The picks, right. uh, you know, I don't quite get it. it. You know, with Tressman there, I don't think he's developed the way that we had hoped after McCown left. So I think they are with the, I think this is a 3-4 and four team. I think they're playing exactly to their record the way Cutler is playing now. I don't think they've taken the next step under Tressman offensively yet. Yeah. yeah, well, I got to be the honest, they, they're going to have big games, too. You know, they're going to have to because that's the thing with again. I'm sorry, but I come back yeah. to the defense. The defense can't stop anybody, can't get after the quarterback. And so all the pressure is on the offensive side of the ball. But like you said, they do have the weapons. I mean, Marshall did. They listed them off after the game and he's right. You got Martellus Bennett. You got Alshon Jeffrey. You got Brandon Marshall. Cutler, for all his faults, he's still a, a valuable quarterback in the league in Tressman's offense if he just cuts out the boneheaded mistakes. And I know that's a try. You know, we've been saying that for years. But how much you look at the interception against the Dolphins, it's hard to say whether that's just a terrible decision or if it's a miscommunication. And if it is a miscommunication, why is that happening in week mm -hmm. seven in this year, in the second year in this offense? That is that alone should be inexcusable. Got an issue with Brandon Marshall calling out his team? No, I think he handled it absolutely right. I love the bit they kind of overheard him yelling at yeah. the kicker. And the kicker, you know, piped down. Oh. You're the kicker. Just go, Robbie Gold. Not a better guy in the, in the NFL than Robbie That's Gold. You ever heard of anything negative about him? Uh, today, from Brandon Marshall. Yeah, but and you know what? <laughs> Marshall, though, you will give he plays with intensity. There was a play, an uh, uh, interception return, where he came out of nowhere to say. And that's what play. he said after and the game. And he always does that. We should so. be upset. We yeah. should be throwing things around the locker room. And he's right. The team needs a kick in the butt. And if he's the one who give it to him, you know, more power to him. All right. I'm never going to call this guy out in public, just in private. For Aaron Nagler, I'm Andrew Perloff for SI.com.